appreciate that, guys. Is it true the Leinster army was wiped out at Alster? Are we doomed to live under the Empire forever? Come, have a sip of this pure water and toast with me to the final days of Leinster. I was just about to sing of the Yeed Massacre. <laughs> oh dear god, don't. The start of this kingdom's decline. Oh, he's actually doing it. I, I'm not singing this. In season past, Leinster thrived with Quan upon its throne. Though less esteemed, Trevanta dreamed of making it his own. Quan's kin by marriage, Sigurd, was the victim of a coup. Quan had no stake, but told him, Take the aid I bring to you. The limber bond of friendship was a noose around his neck. Quan planned a, a course with half his force embarking on the trek. And so with gallant mounted knights and queen upon her steed, he slowly marched, determined, parched across the desert yeed. But oh how Trevant had waited, and followed hushed his death. His flyers would not be sated, till Quan drew his final breath. So from the sky a swarm of foes came soaring into view. Their numbers vast, their dragons fast, their lances aiming true. The startled knights could not escape, the desert held them fast. They had to stand upon the sand, upon the sand as bloody wounds amassed. The heart that bled for Sigurd led his forces to their end. His kingdom snatched, his queen dispatched, no respite for his friend. This world is not an ally, it is sinister and cruel. What Quan forgot, Trevant did not, the caring man's the fool. And Sigurd he took to weeping, as Thracia took their rule. There's no other code worth keeping, I, the caring man's the fool. Okay, that was actually awesome. Project Exile, guys, that was fantastic. I'm, I'm actually really happy with that. That's such a cool village. That was awesome. <laughs> I actually got chills reading that, I'm not gonna lie. Probably because, again, I, I just played FE4 recently, but yeah. Dang. I wonder how that was in the original script, in like the Japanese script. I'm curious if it was how many liberties were taken with that line, I guess. I don't know, I loved it, whatever. Well, I don't like if that was a completely new edition. I don't even care. That was awesome. <laughs> that is fan service done right, I think. All right. Anyway, just continue marching north. Oh shoot. Okay, that's not good. Um. Hmm. What are we gonna do? There's not too many enemies here, but we are gonna be surrounded soon. I think what I'm gonna do. Do these guys have ranged weapons? This guy does. That's annoying. Oh, he's, oh it's Conomer. Dang. Okay. And he can reach. Can he reach her entire range? Yeah, he can. But he can't reach right here. Oh, perfect. That's beautiful. Um. Can she. Rescue that villager and just bring him more north. We're just going to equip the Iron Lance, I guess. Like, if I put him here, can Amalda save him and get out of range? She's got how much move? 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Grab him. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. She'd still be in range of Conomer's Master Lance. Yep. Okay, what about down here? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think it takes them two. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that works. If I just drop him off here. I think she can rescue... Pretty sure that's out of range. Beautiful. Okay. As long as Glade doesn't die, we are golden. Is that everyone? Yep. Okay.
Okay, this is this is stressful. I figured I had more time to get away than this. That's a lot of enemies. I regret not bringing the rescue staff on Safia, but Safia was fatigued, and I really didn't want to use an S-drink. I don't know why they're heading south. It's really strange. Bro. No. <laughs> That's not okay. I want that to be- I, I'll just steal it back. That might take a little more time, but I think everyone up there is north enough that that's okay. Or not. Okay, Connemer. Don't kill me. So I got 43 hit, and he actually doesn't kill. Sweet. And even Kanta's away. That helps. Okay. Let's solve this problem. How do I get the speed ring back? I don't actually know if I can, because everybody here is holding someone. Oh boy, Glade doesn't have any movement stars, so... Alright. We can't capture him, because we're holding someone. So what we're gonna do... How far can she move after if she kills this guy? She's got 10 move again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, she can get away if she kills him. She's just gotta kill with... Oh, she actually needs to crit. That's fine. She missed. That's the opposite of critting Amolda. Okay, well, in that case... Hmm. Um... Well... We still haven't lost. Hang on. Karen, get up here. Xavier needs to move his full move. Anybody that's not mounted needs to move as far as they can. And actually... Transfer... Drop Asbel so Nana can rescue Shroff. He, oh, he's actually out of range. I figured he was in range, but he's not. Sweet. Nana can rescue Shroff next turn. Um, I need to check this guy's range. So I want to keep Nana out of it. Cool. She'll just move there, grab Shroff. I'll do this. Continue fleeing. These guys up here, I've got two Physic users, which is good because I need to heal two guys. First Glade. I just need these to not miss. Sweet. Then a Malda after that. Beautiful. A Malda actually seems... I didn't even look at her stats, really. I just kind of assumed she was good. Uh, defense. Alright, nice. What? Okay, she's got the Dane Scroll, so it's plus 5%, but she's at 7 move. I think that's 2 movement level ups. I need to not lose this run now. I don't think I can this turn, at least. Because... The only person in range is Glade again. He doesn't die. Okay, I'm gonna put- I'm gonna bring Kane down here. Because I might be able to use him just as capture bait. We'll go ahead and escape with these guys. I'll go first. Sorry. I mean, technically you're not going first, so... I don't know why you, you're saying you are. The battle begins anew. Technically it's ending, but... Well, for you at least. Alright, Marita, you did nothing. That's fine. I... That's... Uh, whatever. Okay. Ooh. This is gonna be fine. Although this would be a good way to grind, if I just like got everybody up to the castle and just blocked off something. 
Not that I'm going to, but I could. Theoretically. Enemy face is just so long with nothing happening. I think I'm just gonna give up on the speed ring, honestly. Like, it'd be awesome to have, but it's not worth losing this run over. Again, those guys are headed south, and I don't know why. I wish I had given Shroff a rewarp staff that had more than one use. That would have been smart. I don't know why I didn't do that. Because then he could just rewarp back up to the castle. Alright, Amalda should kill this guy. Provided she hits. Actually, she doesn't. She needs a crit, which she just got. Okay. Dang. Okay. These guys have too much movement for my liking. And Glade needs to survive another turn, which he can. Just don't crit me. What? I, that, I just... What did I just say? <laughs> Alright. Uh, I will be right back. I'm gonna get around to this same point. Yeah, we'll, we'll be right back. Alright, we are back, and this time I played through everything basically the same, just a little more optimized. So I ended up having everyone decently further ahead than they were before. And I also didn't get the speed ring stolen because I was careful about where I put Karen in these forests. So that's good. Uh, yeah, we'll just... Frankly, just continue running away for the rest of the chapter here. I think Amalda's gonna take... have to fight this guy? No, she's actually out of range. Sweet. In that case, let's see, we'll just take the last... We've got one civilian down here with... I just put it on Finn and the other three. I got... I ferried all the way up here to Dean, Misha, and Nana. So, we'll just have Nana go ahead and escape. Lord Leaf, stay safe. Um, I, Leaf is not the one in danger in this chapter. <laughs> I think everybody else needs to stay safe. Leaf is good. Alright. Kane is the only one I need to leave behind, so I need to make sure I do that. Let's see. I can get Ralph up here. Just rescue him with Glade. That cuts his movement, but that's fine. He's almost out. I might need to do the same thing for Orson. I could use Alfred to rescue him. That's fine. It might cut his movement, but they're still far enough out of range, I think. I guess I can bring Kane up here just so he doesn't die, but he is going to be left behind inevitably. And now the enemy is just gonna all charge forward. Man, I wonder how many people fight off all of these guys. Because I'm sure you can do it. If all your best units aren't fatigued like mine were. But, like, I'm sure it can be done. It's probably not even that hard. It would just... I mean, you'd be in this chapter for a really, really long time. <laughs> fighting them all off. And it's not really worth anything other than experience. Which, granted, this is a ton of experience that's on screen right now. But, oh, they're just... They're heading down to escape, that makes sense. Because there's nothing more for them to steal. All the villages are gone. Got it, okay, that makes sense. Once again, in my... I've actually replayed twice um, since, since the last time, and both times I have completely failed to save those two villages right next to the thieves. So I still don't know how you're supposed to get those without warp. And I feel like no matter what's in there, it's not worth a warp use unless it's another warp staff, which I highly doubt, so I'm not even going to worry about it. Once again, Amalda is the only one that's really close to anybody, I think. I'll get a better view as soon as I get control back. There we go. So, how are we doing? Hmm, okay. Let's get Finn up here. We'll just take this route with Karen. This is fine here. 
I think Amalda's gonna have to take this hit on the enemy phase, but just him and nobody else. Because she's still outrunning this guy, yeah. So she's gonna take one hit, unless he goes for Finn. Either way, neither of them die. Xavier does need to get up here. He's taking the longest to walk. He's probably got another two turns, I guess. Good, come here. I'll just go ahead and have Dean and Misha escape. Yep, you will be going on ahead. This is true. I'm just keeping my two Physic users there just in case I need them, and they're in range of the escape point anyway, so I'm not too worried there. Hmm. Okay. This is fine. As long as Conover is not in anybody's range, I don't think I'm in any real danger, because he's probably the scariest enemy that's charging for us right now, just because of that Master Lance. And the fact that his stats are comparable to a playable unit, being that he is a playable unit. And me, uh, not Misha, uh, Amalda's stats are all halved right now, so. He would kill her if he could hit her. I'm, I'm pretty confident in that. Okay, yeah, you guys run away, cowards. <laughs> it's weird that sometimes they've been green units and sometimes they're red units, despite clearly not being in the same army. So I don't know why they why they chose those colors sometimes. Like in chapter 17, the brigands were green because they were part of a different army or faction, I suppose. And now the brigands are red despite clearly being a different faction all over again. So I don't I don't know. It's strange. Oh, he's got the javelin equipped. That's actually bad. He still doesn't get doubled though. We're good. This isn't FE4. Javelins don't guarantee you get doubled. And done. I bet more are gonna spawn next turn, but for now, done. All right, first things first, Asbel can almost get out of here. Kane will not get out of here. Glade needs to drop this. I forget if he's carrying Ralph or Orson. There we go. Is Xavier in range to leave? Six move, one, two, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, he can't even move. Okay, we got two more turns then. Maybe more, Karen's not even close either, actually. Okay, Finn, just run. Everybody's just running. I don't even need to pick up Orson, I can, he can just walk. He's close. We're almost home. We're almost home free. Uh, I think... Is he in range of anyone? He's just in range of Finn. So we'll just make sure Finn doesn't die. And this does get a level for Sarah, if I'm not mistaken, because she only needed one Physic use. Yep, that's right. Maybe she'll get move again? That'd be cool. She didn't get defense this time. Nope, no move. Well, that's my payment for failing. That's fair. I think I'm just gonna speed through this enemy turn because they can't actually hit me except for that one guy yeah we're just gonna there we go <laughs> okay no oh, we'll go a little further yep cool they're escaping there we go okay one combat the one combat I didn't even equip a brave lance I don't need to there's no need to use it up I guess if it doesn't actually change anything I don't see a point I can't tell if they're getting closer or not because they should have the same move as Finn and Amalda, right? I guess I'll check, because they should, because they're just promoted cavaliers, slash whatever you want to call horse units in this game. But the game could give them more move just to make it a challenge. Nine, Finn's got nine. Okay, so Conomer has one more than Finn does. Good to know, I guess. Okay, we'll drop off Finn Civilian there. Sweet, Amalda can just leave. 
Nice movement, sir. I apologize for retreating before you could. That is intentional, but alright. Orson can get up here. Oh shoot, she's in. She's not in range. She's not. Okay. I was worried that the civilian was going to be in range because I realized I blocked off her. Whoever was going to rescue her, but no, we're good. Okay, Xavier's almost out of here. Go ahead and get Ralph out. I don't think we've seen his escape approach. We've still got a ways to go, huh? Sweet, Glade. No, don't dismount, don't rescue, just escape. Well, Glade is now dismounted, so whoops. <laughs> that was that was a mistake. Asbo can also leave. No, I'm not gonna leave you behind again. We go over this every time. Okay, Kara needs to get over here. She's gonna be the last one to escape, probably, other than leave. She's still got a while to go. Okay, as long as... Yeah. Oh, uh, let's check his range. Okay, so Finn's only in range with this one guy. And he dodged it, so I can't even heal him. Lame. Okay, enemy phase where nothing happens. Okay, I know speed up is annoying. It the, the sound is atrocious, but that's just there's no entertainment value in watching a bunch of red units. I don't even want to watch it, so I know you guys don't. They're just running forward. I think that's these are the last three though. No, there we go. Now we're done. This is such a weird chapter. It's a cool one. I don't dislike it. I wish it was theoretically possible to get those other two villages without warp. But other than that, this is a fun chapter. I'm enjoying it. It's no combat. It's all fear, but just like fear and running away. And I think that's fun. It's a cool idea. Uh, Xavier can get out. Let's hear his escape quote. I shall go on ahead. Really interesting quote. I'm glad I got to see that. Okay, can Finn just sit here and not die? Can he tank right here? Do I want Leaf to? Leaf actually can. So should I just put Finn here? Equip the Brave Lance and wait? Not the Rider's Bane, because I don't want him to kill him. He should take two hits here. One from this Silver Bow. Or Conomer's Master Lands, and one up close from a Poleaxe. Are you kidding me? Well, that's bad. Well, here, capture Kane. Okay, maybe that'll work. Just don't kill him, please. Shoot. I hope I didn't get this far just to lose now. I'm mad that that guy has a poleaxe. Like, I knew I, I knew he did because I saw those spawn earlier. I knew they had poleaxes, I just didn't even think about it. Okay, well, rip, he's captured. Already. Maybe they'll cover up, they're actually covering up the spaces he can attack on, so he's only gonna get attacked once at this point. It's just, who's it gonna be? Okay, we're not watching all the brigands move. There we go. They just keep spawning and just immediately leaving. Okay, we're just beating this up. Here we go. Finn dodges the poleaxe and kills the guy. Sweet. Madman. Good unit. Okay. Kane is captured, which is fine. We will rescue him in two chapters. <laughs> it's not like he was doing much to help anyway. Okay, Finn is still getting attacked. By Connor. But it's fine. He doesn't die and he dodged. Well, rip Connor. I actually wanted to leave him alive, but Ulster shall yet rise again. But not today. Sorry, dude. And that gets Finn some skill, speed, and luck. I'll take the speed.
Those other two, eh, whatever. Can Karen escape? She is one tile away, are you kidding me? <laughs> Alright, do this, any more of these guys have poleaxes? As long as there's no more poleaxes, we're fine. This dude does. Why didn't he attack, I wonder? Because he was in this square before. Hmm. Regardless, I think I'm gonna build like a defensive barrier here. No, I think this is better. This trip point's better. We're just gonna do this. Karen gets away next turn, so I just gotta survive one more turn with Finn. I think I might equip something else though, because the, the Brave Lance gives him luck as the thing, and I want him to be able to dodge. So actually, we'll keep the Brave Lance. That's fine. We'll get Orson out. Mm -hmm. As long as he doesn't get killed by the Poleaxe, we're fine. I cannot allow myself to fall here. I don't know if Salem's ever escaped, actually. If he's ever, if I've ever seen that quote. Well, right ahead. Be safe, my lord. Alright. Finn, just here. What we can do is give him charm. I don't know what the range for charm is, and Leaf needs to be able to run back to the here, so we're gonna make sure it's one, two, three, so he can move three. He can move here, and still be in range to escape, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, yep, he can move right here, and we'll give him charm. Cool. I wouldn't be scared for Finn at all, it's just that, um... Polax, that's scary. You know what? I shouldn't have given him the Brave Lance. Because he's just going to kill these guys now. I wanted that because of the luck. To give him the avoidance. The, the tin luck helps. But he's just going to kill all of them now. Which isn't good, because then he just has to fight more of them. He needs to break the Brave Lance. It has four more uses now, if I've been keeping count correctly. So he needs to not crit, dodge a little bit, and just break the Brave Lance. That is going to hurt his avoidance, but... Okay, he's got two more uses. Just don't crit this guy. Sweet. Beautiful and beautiful. Alright, Brave Lance broke. I'll probably have earned that, honestly. I think it's worthy. But now we have the Broken Lance. Yeah. It hurts his avoidance, but he definitely doesn't kill now. Cool. That worked. He'll take a Silver Bow, but that's fine. He might take a few Silver Bows, actually. The Polax guy still isn't moving. So maybe he won't move again? Okay, that's bad. That's really bad. Because this guy probably one-shots. Doesn't matter, he dodged. Okay, these guys, whatever. Yeah, they're all gonna move. Okay, one more. Now the axe guys are charging up. Which I don't like. Oh, there's this guy's got a hammer. Didn't mean to skip all the way to combat, but. Alright, so I think he has to deal with one more poleaxe. Oh, only one poleaxe, really. He hasn't fought one yet. Yep, just this guy. Just don't die to this guy, and we're good. We're good. That was a 33% chance to die right there, but it's fine. Oof, that was a. I th I'm pretty sure I got really lucky that turn. I'm gonna be honest. That was that was a close call. But we win now. So I'll just let these guys finish moving. They've they've earned the ability to not be sped up. All right. For a split second there, I was like, "Ooh, I should heal Finn with Sarah before I go." Why did I dismount? I didn't mean to dismount. <laughs> so whatever. Good job, Finn. You did good. Next map's indoors anyway, so. 
Well, Sarah, you have a very interesting quote. Escape, we're not gonna dismount, Karen. Thank you. And... Let me just look down here. Yep, he survived. Kane is still on here. He's not dead. We'll be back for him. And Leaf, get out of here. Until the Empire's retaliation begins, there's nothing more we can do. We should retreat to the castle. Augustus, this is all my fault. It's like I killed Dorius myself. You don't have the luxury of wallowing in regret. Not now. There will be time to atone to Duke Dorius after you've defeated Lannister. Summon all of your patience and discipline. You'll need it for what lies ahead. You're right. Come now. I do bring some good news. I've heard multiple reports that a large rebellion is taking place in the eastern reaches of Isaac. They seem to be putting up a good fight against the Empire, by all accounts. Do you know who their leader is? If the rebellion is in Isaac, couldn't it be Prince Shannon? Finn told me about him. He has the most gifted sword arm in all the world, and he's beloved by his people. In short, he's a far greater man than I. Of course Prince Shannon is with the rebels, but their leader is someone else. That being? Lord Selif of House Chalfi. People of Isaac and Granvale alike hail him as the Scion of Light. L Lord Selif? Can this be true? I believe it is, and his father, Lord Sigurd, is your uncle. The Crusader Sigurd. As recently as a decade ago, he was reviled as a traitor, but nowadays, he is a popular folk hero. He saw through the Empire's schemes from the beginning, and died trying to protect the world from his... machinations. Bard spread his tail across the land, and it captivated the hearts of every man, woman, and child suffering under the Empire's rule. And so he became more legend than man. Now, the child of that legend is fighting to realize his father's dream. The people feel hope once again, and blinded by that hope, they wouldn't hesitate to die for his cause. This is a bounty from the gods. We couldn't have crafted a more perfect opportunity ourselves. What exactly are you saying? I'm saying there's a reason so many people are ready to die for Lord Selif. It's not just because he's a strong warrior. Our era demands a hero. The people clamor for one, and so, someone has crafted Lord Selif to be their hero. Forged him, if you will, in much the same way one forges metal into a blade, taking a man and sculpting him into what pe the people need. Do you understand? No one chooses to become a hero. They're willed into a hero by the people around them, shaped by the needs of others. Augustus, does that mean the people in my life crafted me to be what they needed too? Hmm. You'll have to come to your own conclusions on the matter. Though I will say this, recall that Duke Dorius lost an arm protecting you, and now he's traded his life for yours. Have you ever stopped to wonder why he did that? Why do so many people keep sacrificing themselves for you? Why do so many hail you as a hero? Think on that, and think well. The prince has ordered that he has not be disturbed for the time being. You may state your business to me instead. Oh, well, uh, we fled from Alster, you see. The Imperials were hot in our trail when your army showed up to help us. We just wanted to give the prince this master seal as a way of saying thanks. Leave to me. I'll deliver it to the prince and convey your gratitude. All right, thank you. Sweet. All right. Wow, that was chapter nineteen. Um, gameplay wise, that was eh, it was it was all right. It was an interesting, although not wholly fun chapter. It was a cool idea, but I really really like that writing for that chapter. Just Dorius's death hit me, and that that speech Augustus just gave. That was that was awesome. That was one of my favorite probably my favorite point in the story so far so yeah uh i'll see you guys next time when we play chapter 20 the scion of light nice self uh yeah i'll see you next time bye, -bye.